yeah i mean um, not that there's anything masculine about her that she fitted into a role written for a man but um because we know her as such a strong confident uh, person who knows her own mind um lives by her own rules um her persona is that uh, strong that she can carry off a role that was perhaps written for a man um a lot of times um you know when she's performing i mean if you know her personally you will realize that her persona seeps into the character uh it's very strange that uh, when i went to speak to her for filhal her um, renee's adoption was just becoming finalized and here i was um, talking to her about a character who's going to be a surrogate mother for her friend um which is not a, a really a conventional thing for women to do and neither is adopting at you know at such a young age and being a single mother so i since then i have seen these you know these parallels between sushmita the person and sushmita the characters that she plays they always independent strong willed um effervescent fiery um sometimes just you know bubbly and giggly and that's what she is as well at the end of it all she is also a giggly girl <laughs> um, she should not have been out uh, with no god father behind her yeah i think it it, it has been difficult for her to make it in this industry without anyone over her she was already known she was already famous she was a star before she came uh, before her first film released uh she had the miss universe crown on her head and everyone knew her everyone knew that image of her smiling with her you know hands across her face so she was a star before she had her first release so i don't think that she really needed anything more than that and apart from that her personality her persona and her talent you know that's all her through When we look at Shashita's career graph, mm-hmm. we see she's done mainstream cinema as well as films like um, Filhal. Mm-hmm. And um, and why isn't Filhal mainstream cinema? So called. Where she had act, where she had unconventional mainstream cinema. And she actually had had something to you know to act. Mm-hmm. And she was in Manchester for. Okay, I'll take cinema. that as a compliment. <laughs> Okay. Uh you think she has uh, she you know she consciously is taking that um she's taking that stream of uh, you know where she's doing this kind of cinema and also you know some meaningful cinema. And where do you think she is fitting in rather well? I think she's doing both fabulously. Um and the good thing is that now there couldn't be a better time than now for all different kinds of films that are being made. um i don't think like i said i don't think she's the kind of person who strategizes and calculates and makes her decisions you know she's from what i would understand of her she would take spontaneous decisions about films you know roles that appeal to her or scripts that she liked or characters that she found you know uh, some echo in of herself um and therefore her choice of films has been her palette has been so varied where she has done um of beat films she's done mainstream films and she's the 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 common part in that is that you can see sushmita sen the actor irrespective of what kind of or with what genre of film she's doing you know she's true to her her role her performance and her craft in all the all the different genres of the films that she's doing which i think is very commendable when she gets into the song and dance routine mm. she's been successful in that of course i mean you know uh, mehboob mere was like a cult song that you know that video and that was that's just her doing that little item bit in uh, dil se but uh, no that was dil se no fiza in fiza and uh, and she does that with as much elan and she's not embarrassed about it and she doesn't regret it you know and then she uh, i think uh, also in um, it's now also um, she's done uh, you know a song appearance and so she does that and she does films which have you know uh, meat enough meat in her, in the character for her to sink her teeth into and she does you know mai hu na where she's in her chiffon saree so i mean i think as an actor 
she is uh, constantly satisfying her 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 thirst with different kinds of roles and different kinds of work and reinventing herself all the time which i think is a very good thing